M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So we're unboxing an ICOM 7000. I know this is a few years old. They actually came out 2004, I believe. So it's an all-mode radio, but it's just a really nice size all-mode, all-band radio. It does VHF, UHF. So let's just uh, slide it out of the box. Quite a few bits here pushed in the side. And uh, this one is in virtually brand new condition, so it has the, the 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 microphone that we've seen so many times with Icon radios. There you are, HM51 controls everything on the radio. And let's uh, see if we can just turn this round, stand it up. So you can see the radio there, a very big manual and some other parts here. We'll just slide all that out. There it is there, that's how it comes packaged. Got the uh, the manual, which is uh, an excellent, I mean, this is over 10 years old, like new condition. And we have this, I think like a quick setup. We even have the original brochure as well. I actually had this. I've had this radio before, but look. I mean, it's one of the best looking radios out there. In this box, not sure what we've got in this box. Let's have a look. Probably power cable, is it? Oh, I know what, it's got quite a big, it's got one of those, um, what do you call it? One of those power cables with the EM, is it EMC filter in it. So let's open this up. And uh, got some goodies here. Oh, there's a cable here, so that's interesting. So it's a cable with, yeah, that looks original. With a frayed end there. Is it a cat cable with some connectors there? Adapter for your, is it CW? Yeah, the CW ETC. So that, that I think that all came originally with the, with this unit. And then you've got the this one's got two power cables, which is this one here. Got the filters on it, and then the EMC one, which I'll probably leave in the box and use if I if I need it. So that is actually the OPC one four seven one five seven R. Is that, I'll leave that in. Just take the other cable out for now. Do try and keep everything in, in good condition here. Eh? So what we'll do, we'll just pop back in the, all the, the packaging like so. For now, all the little bits, keep the bits we want. Keep all the always keep all the packaging. It has come with a, a cover, an embroidered cover. It's okay, isn't it? It looks like it's never been used, but I'll use it. Let's put all the all the bubble wrap. Now let's have a look at the the best bit, which is the radio. And uh, we need to grab find the head unit as well, which we've got here somewhere. Let's move this box. It feels like the head unit is still in the box actually. Let's uh, have a look. I'll just show you the base unit. It's literally in brand new condition. You can see it does have a handle and some feet. So it's very, very portable unit. And we have a stand at the bottom, like so. It's going to stand like that. Let's look at the back. So antenna one and two, not sure at the moment which one is HF and six meters. Mic, ground, tuner, ACC data, Kia for CW. It literally looks brand new. It's like it's never been used. That's what how good condition it's in. I'm guessing there's a microphone connector there as well. And that looks like it's never even been removed. Right, let's find the head unit. Okay, I've got the head unit out, very nice. 
very nice indeed. Yeah, and just slides on like so. Uh, and unusually, there is one screw missing from the head. I'm not really sure why. So let's get the head unit on. Should just be a matter of just hold it like so and push it across, I think, and it just clicks on. Very nice set. We'll get the power connected, get the cable on. We've got a 30 amp power supply. So I'll move over here. There's our power supply. Get the cable on. <clears throat> We've got an antenna set up. We've got a nine to one ballon with a 20 meter wire as an antenna. Looks like this power cable has had uh, a nice filter put on it, which is good. Um, so we'll just show you me connecting the power. Yeah. Try not to scratch the radio with any power cables. So that clips in quite nicely. I do like those four pin power connectors because they're the same as what I use for my, pretty sure they're the same as what I use on my Yesu. Just turn this power around like so. We've got these round lugs, but unfortunately I can't take off. Well, they won't, they won't just slip on and these lugs won't come off. So what I end up doing if they don't come off, well, I might be lucky in this case. Oh, that's good news. So they've come off. So <laughs> red to red, red to red, look, black to black. Just get that on there. Right, red to red, black to black, 30 amp power supply. Now let's get the antenna on there. Okay, let's turn it around. Yeah. Now, which one is HF? Can't see that it's marked. Antenna one, antenna two. So we'll just plug one in. We'll do it on the outside one. And then if that, if we don't get a HF signal, then we know. So this is the first time turn on. I know it's the second hand radio, but, and it's 2000 and Get this at a better angle. See if I can just zoom in a bit better. So let's turn it on first time. Get the power supply on. Just a, a quick tap on the thing. Icom 7000. The old call sign is there. And then we'll turn down this. Well, make sure we're in the right mode. So. LSB. I wouldn't say I'm getting a strong signal. Now, step here and we will. Let's see if we can dim it down a bit. Uh, it looks like that is the right antenna. We'll just take it off. Yeah, it's definitely the right antenna. So the outside one. Right, trying to get it at a better angle. So. AGC. That's tuna. Go up and down the bands using the up and down here. Oh, it looks like the, the scope is on. That's why you're getting that noise. Quickly go through the features. You got preamp. If you hold it, you've got attenuation. Tuner if you have a tuner connected. Different menu. So menu one, split, A, B, filter. Which I've not used. So I don't really know how to change the the filter band width. Is it here? One point eight three for now. 
That's for your input without squelch. Menu two is memory, memory right, memory cancel, VFO memory. There's no memories in there at the moment. Memory three, Vox compression, AGC. Uh, transmit bandwidth. Hold it down. ANF and MNF. Is that a filter? Oh, it records. There you are. Hold that for record. Speech announce. Got your frequency step there, it moves along the top. There's the fine. If I hold it, we can change there or push default. So it goes right down to 0 0.1. See that? Let's keep going. NR, noise reduction. Not sure what AN is, but we'll find out. MN, some sort of filtering. Noise blank. If you hold them, that you can set them. You can set them. Same for M. Oh, look, as the, as the. Oh, that's quite good actually. Yeah, changes the tone a bit, doesn't it? It's that nicer when it's that way a bit. It's quite a tinny audio. Now let's push this again. Split AB, that's all for repeater use. Split AB, filter XFC. So we've got M123, and I think if we hold it down, we go to the S menus. Voice TX, so you can record and send. RX TX mic set. What's mic? Okay, not sure what that is. Now, what's the back button? Can we just press anything? Uh, yeah, that one there. That's your back. So you've got S1, S2, scan, priority, VFO memory, VSC, not sure what that is. Memory right. Memory program, right? Is it memory program restore? Is it? I don't know. But like I said, I've just literally just turned this on. Let's go to VHF. Let's try UHF, see if I can find my hubnet node, which is 434550. See, that audio sounds really good. If we want tone on it's FM, not in the S menu, let's try the, oh that's the, is that the scope? I think that was the scope, anyway, let's find tone, tone on, hold it, we want 77. Now the microphone can plug in underneath here. Okay, microphone's in, and the microphone does light up. So, up and down, what else you got on here? All the buttons we've just been through, they're all on here, you can change bands. Filters, 
mode. You can actually enter the frequency using the microphone. Got some shortcuts here. So I'm sure you could probably set in the menu. VFO memory. Memory right if you hold it. Little memory right. This unit can actually be a television if you know how to, you know, make some changes. Mode up here. Preamp. It's a 100 watt radio. Not sure what it is on um, VHF and UHF. Go back down. We'll start putting some memories in. There's our node again. Slightly off frequency. We've got the tone. Let's see if we can get it in the memory. Menu 2. We'll hold it down and we want to choose our memory channel. So let's put it... See it says blank when you get to one that's not in use. So B02 is blank. We've got it in there. Now if you want to go to name it. Let's try mem, list, then we'll go to, I've never done this by the way, <laughs> name, and then it looks like we can start selecting, it's hubnet, I'll turn it down, I do like all the colour, okay, U, M, S, T, U, I'll just, I'll just do HU for now. Now how do we select? Do we go delete and space we've got? So how do we actually get it in there? Oh, I just backed out and it put it in there. I just pushed the menu button. So if we back out again and go to memory mode, surely Memory. Can't see the name. Oh, there it is there. HU. It's a bit small, isn't it? <laughs> HU. You've got a list of your memory. Right, well, we'll do individual videos about that. So, overall, what a fantastic little radio. And uh, thanks for watching my video. And catch you on air. 7 3. All the best.